welcome back to my channel. If this is your first video, hi, I'm Elena, and this is The Organized Money, where we talk about planning life and managing money. Today, I am teaming up with five of my fellow financial educators to talk about different money topics. Each one of us is going to be sharing our top five tips on that particular topic. So today we're going to be talking about my top five budgeting tips. But if you want to see their top tips on investing, building wealth, saving money, managing money, and paying off debt, make sure that you head over to the description box as I will have a link to all of their videos there. So let's go ahead and get into my top five budgeting tips. Tip number one is to plan your budget day. I'm always talking about routines and habits when it comes around to planning your day, but having a specific day and time that you plan out your budget is essential to making sure you're successful at budgeting. One of the top reasons that most people don't budget is just because they don't set aside a specific time that they're going to do it, which means their paycheck just hits their account, they pay their bills, and they just go on with their day. But if you set a specific day in time that you're actually going to budget your money, you're more than likely going to be more successful with the budgeting process. I have a specific money routine that I complete on a weekly basis every single time that I get paid and this puts me in the habit of checking in on my money on a weekly basis and also make sure that we don't overspend. So I highly, highly recommend that you create some type of money routine and try your best to make this routine as fun or as comfortable as possible. Get your favorite drink, turn on some music if you like, light a candle, do whatever you need to do to make this process enjoyable for you so that you'll continue to do it. If you want to see my full money routine, you can check out the link above, but just make sure that you establish some type of routine for yourself so that you can enjoy the budgeting process. My second top budgeting tip is to learn your money history and your money personality. Learning the act of budgeting of how to put the numbers down on a sheet of paper is only 20% of the issue. A really big part of your financial health is going to come down to how much you know yourself, your behavior, and your history with money. And knowing your money personality can really help you explain knowing how and why you spend money the way that you do. Just like knowing your love language will help you in a relationship, knowing your money personality can help you when you are making financial decisions or when you are ready to spend money in general. Once I learned about money personalities, I was able to understand myself better and why I decided to make certain purchases. And I was also able to understand my husband better. We were able to communicate on a much deeper level and we became a better overall team. If you want to learn more about the five money personalities, I have a full playlist that walks you through each one of them. Anyone who is starting their financial journey with every client that I have, I always tell them to start with their money personality because it really tells you so much about yourself and the people that are surrounding you. So if you're new to budgeting or you are already budgeting, but it's not really working the way that you want it to, make sure that you check out that playlist. Tip number three is to start with the most important budgeting categories. Usually when we're talking about setting up a budget, most people know to put their income at the top, but then when they get to their expenses, they will just randomly add all of their expenses. The issue with that is that all expenses are not equal. There are some categories that are way more important than other categories. So you need to add the most important categories first. Savings should be the top line on your budget because it's the equivalent of paying yourself first. This process is really about the routine of saving. We want you to develop the habit. So even if you're only setting aside $10 every single time that you get paid, slowly over time, it will start to grow. So even if it's a little amount, I definitely want you to put saving at the very top of your budget. After saving is going to be four more categories shelter, transportation, food, and utilities. These are the four things that you need in order to survive, which is why they should be the next four line items on your budget. 
after that, you basically can line up everything else as you see fit, but you definitely want to have those five items at the very top of your budget and you want to do those first. This is the best way to make sure that you don't run out of money before you cover those five things. Now I have done a full video on budgeting categories as well. So if you want to see how you can categorize your budget and set it up for success, make sure that you check out that video as well. Tip number four, every month is different. One of the biggest mistakes that I see is applying the exact same budget to every single month. But every single month is not the same. Some months we have birthdays, other months we have anniversaries, some months we have weddings coming up, other months are Christmas and Easter. So to try and apply the exact same budget to every single month is basically setting yourself up for failure. As you are approaching a brand new month, you need to think critically about everything that's going to happen in that month. Think about are there any big purchases that you need to make? Are there any events that you need to attend? Think about everything that could be going on in that month just to make sure that you aren't forgetting something that's going to cost you money. So there are a couple things that I like to do to make sure that I stay on top of this process. The very first thing is planning out my month. I plan out my month for my life in my planner. So then that way I could glance over everything that's coming up in my planner and see if it's going to cost me money. If it is something that's going to cost me money, I add it to my budget planner as well. Another thing that we do is we have family meetings every single month before we start a new budget. That way, even if I don't have anything planned, if my husband does or we have something that we have to do for the kids, we're able to add that to our budget planner as well. But approaching each month differently will definitely help you when you are looking at your money. If you know you have something coming up in one category, then you can cut back in another category. So if we know we have to get a gift, then sometimes we'll cut down in our entertainment category. That way we ensure that we don't overspend and go over budget. And tip number five is to develop a strategy for budgeting categories that you usually overspend on. So most people overspend in their budget in three categories. The very first one is food, the second one is shopping, and the third one is entertainment. If this is you or your family, then you definitely have to have some type of strategy for those three categories. So for us, it's food. And our strategy is first to do online grocery shopping. That way we add all of our items to a specific list and just pick up our groceries. And we don't overspend because we don't go to the store and we're able to evaluate our list as we are adding things to it. And the second thing that we have done is set aside a specific amount of money into a separate separate account for our eating out budget. We put that money in our spending account and once it's gone, it's gone. We cannot eat out for the rest of the week. So if you know you have a category where you are constantly going over, let's say it's Amazon if you love to shop, or it is food like me. You need to figure out your strategy for not overspending on that particular thing. You could use cash envelopes. You could get yourself a gift card for that particular thing. Or you could do what I do and set a specific amount of money aside in a separate account. But either way, you need to figure out your strategy so you can set yourself up for success. Figuring out your strategy and tracking your spending on a daily basis will definitely help you overall with budgeting. So guys, those are my top five budgeting tips. Make sure that you check out the description box as I will have the link to all of the other ladies' videos and their topics. I'll see you guys next time and until then, keep organizing your life so that you can achieve your dreams. Bye guys.